Hi, my name is Peter McTavish and welcome back to another DCG tutorial. And uh, this question is going to be the quarter geometry question from 2013, so section B, question B1. Uh, I say it's a quarter geometry question even though they're not giving you co uh, coordinates. They're giving you an elevation and a plan. But it's basically a quarter geometry question, so let's read through it. I'm going to start off with the plan and I'm going to start low enough on the sheet to accommodate the rest of the drawing. Now our plan is basically a square that is tilted at 30 degrees. That's my 30 degree line. Let's get my right angle. Stick it a few measurements so it's square and those four measurements are the same so we'll get it on the compass and mark it off that. So 50 meters will be, after your scale, will be 25 mil. So I'm just going to mark that on both sides, see those nice handy measurements. It's smaller than the tall is going to look like. Let's have a look at what it looks like. So we'll have a line going from the 25 down to the corner here, from the corner to the 25 there, and that centre line then will be joining them. Okay, that is the plan. Now let's put in the elevation, so I'm going to keep them close enough to each other. This is my XY line. And I'm going to use obviously the plan for our length, so let's project everything up. straight section there, do we need that? That, yeah, we do, yeah, that's the straight sections from here. Well, that's pretty much. Let's go on over to here. Looking at the measurements now, our heights are 50 meters, 100 meters, and 50 meters. I already have 50 meters on my compass, so let's mark that in. That's our 25 mil. At the 100, so let's mark in 2. And then the last 50, let's draw that across. Let's go marking in points. So our far corner here is going all the way up to the 100. Uh, surface C basically is what I'm going to put in first. And it is going down to this corner here. And that's going up to that first 50 there. So we'll be joining down like so. This corner then is surface B. So it goes over and B is there. So it goes over as far as here. B then, B also joins back there, so that's your angle. That goes straight up to the 100, over and back down. The angle at the top then is this straight line here, so follow that point up, and that's the back corner. Follow this height up, that's the front, and that's going to give you surface A as well, and also point S. 
uh, that's pretty much the elevation and plan done. So we're going to draw everything strong. So again, as I said there, part A was draw the given plan elevation of the structure. So draw what was given, the answer is there in front of you, it was similar to it. And um, B, determine the dihedral angle between the planes A and B. Let's mark those in now, so. Okay, just a bit of shading there just to highlight the two surfaces. We need to find the dihedral angle between them, so to do that we need the line of section. And in this case, it is a nice straightforward question because you have the line of section between the two planes. So that line there is where the two surfaces meet. In the plan, you see A as an edge view here. That is the edge view of A, that line there represents the full surface. I'm just going to put in a bit of labeling now on all the surfaces on the two surfaces and all the points that way uh, it will make our auxiliary views a lot easier okay so our zero tree line is our line intersection between the two surfaces now looking at that straight off I want to do a point view of that line intersection that zero tree line I want to see this line as a point and if I see that line as a point then I'll get the two surfaces as edge views and that way we can get an angle but we can't just go and do an edge view straight away because we don't have a true length of that line neither view is giving you a true length neither, neither of them are parallel to the x y line so what we have to do is project two auxiliary views just like a normal corner geometry question so zero tree is our line of section so i'm going to project perpendicular to that an auxiliary view, an auxiliary elevation, because we're going to project from the plan to give us a bit of room up here. So I want to project perpendicular to it. So 90 degrees. I'm going to use your two set squares. I'm going to bring that back so we get all our points. And now I can project them all up. So we know this view now, this auxiliary elevation up here on the right hand side is going to give us a true length of the zero tree line because the zero tree line is going to be parallel to the XY line in this view. Now if we're projecting from the plan then this is an auxiliary elevation and if that's an auxiliary elevation we must get our height from the elevation. Now I'm just going to put in a datum line to save myself a bit of room. Now we can say points 4 and 3 are on the XY line so project up our point 4 that is point 0.4, project up our point 0.3, that is point 0.3, use your compass now to figure out the heights for the rest of the points. Now that auxiliary view is giving us a true length of the line intersection. 0 to 3 is now a true length. 
So if that's a true length, just like all the other dihedral angle questions, you do perpendicular first to get the true length, and then once you find the true length, you can do a point view. So to get a point view of the zero tree line, you must look directly in at it, which would mean that you have to project now parallel to it. So I'm going to project straight down parallel to the zero tree line because I have more room down there. So project all your points now parallel to the line of intersection. Now for projecting from the auxiliary view, you work from your XY line back to the last view. So our heights for the second auxiliary view are going to be from X1, Y1 back down to the plan. As you can see, that distance from the X1, Y1 to the plan is a massive distance and I don't want to use all that room up here. Again, another data line, bring X1, X1, Y1 right back to the first point. Well, that's the first point in the view really I should have brought it all the way back to our zero tree line actually that's what I'm going to do because it went perpendicular to it so the zero tree line will be our datum line just ignore that yellow line now we have four points on our XY line we have point zero we have one, two, and three. This is one and two. And also this is point three here. So remember we said it's point view, so zero and three is gonna be a point. One and two have the same height, they're here. And now we need the height for four. So go from your datum line, 2.4. Find your point four here. Now we can draw in our auxiliary view. So our planes again were 0, 1, 2, 3, back 0, 1, 2, 3. So that's a plane here. And 0, 3, 4 was a plane. So our planes are 0, 3, 4 here. That is surface B. And A is 0, 1, 2, back down to 3, and 3 back to 0. This is surface A. Now, if that's the two surfaces, and there you're seeing them as edge views, then the angle created between them is your dihedral angle. And that's part A and B of the question done. They asked you to draw the given plan elevation of the structure and also determine the dihedral angle between the planes A and B. They haven't said indicate, so just by marking in there, you know that that is the dihedral angle between the two planes. So I'm going to have to leave it there for this one, and I'll do parts C and D in the next video. I hope that helped. If it did, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe to see the next few videos. Okay, thank you.